I'm gonna love you How's it going everybody? My name is Wolverguy. Welcome to another edition of the Cheerwine Racing League uh, series, if you will. Uh, as you guys can see, we are in a three wide memorial lap right now. Um, they are doing this because of me. Uh, I Just not to make it too uh, personal or anything, but uh, my mother did pass away earlier today and I asked as a request if they would do a memorial lap and everyone said they would be more appreciated to do it um, after battling multiple years with MS and MS um, dealing with multiple sclerosis and it just uh, messed with her diaphragm enough to her lungs that it did um, unfortunately make her pass so I'm um, fortunately with that uh, mom love you hopefully you're watching this somewhere and um, we're gonna have some great racing here to get here today at Texas I know I've been it's been a couple weeks since I haven't been here uh, I've just been dealing with uh, other personal stuff not the stuff that I just talked about but um, I just just other stuff I'm busy unfortunately haven't been able to make the races uh, we'll talk about the winner from uh last week and all of that i believe we are going to go green here we are racing trucks as you guys can see and we have a long long race for uh texas here tonight um there was not enough cars to do heats so there will be no heat interviews this is the main and it looks like we might have some solid racing going on so far in this race with uh at texas so stage one will be 35 laps. I believe we have 167 in total. So we got a long, long race tonight. And with these trucks, they're going to get really tight, center out, especially on default. Uh, these are going to be really, really, um, it's going to be really interesting racing because these guys are going to be super, super tight in the corners. And with this tire wear, it's going to even make it worse. So... Um, we're gonna have to. We're gonna keep, keep an eye on that. But right now we are uh, watching as uh, the camera goes around the track. We're watching Kyle trying to fight off the one car and also get to the lead as well. So it's getting pretty choppy up here in the top three. Jeesh looking around, looking to the outside, seeing if he can pass Jeremy or take a uh, looking for a chance to take the lead. And it looks like Jeremy's going to get pushed to the outside. Jeesh is going to take the inside, and that's what he's looking for. And Jeesh and Jeremy smack the wall, and that's going to be a caution. The four is involved. So is the 83. Jeremy still spinning. Kyle gets into it as well. And the rest of the field with the one car and whoever else, uh, did not get involved, so that's going to bring out a caution. Now, next week we will be at Kansas in the Cup Series, Chicago Land in Xfinity. Then we're back in the truck at Canadian Tire. Then we are in the Cups once again at Indianapolis. Then we are in the last, well, that is the last race of the season. Then we have the All Star Race, which is the late model um, Eldora race in the Extreme Dirt Series on this uh, on this game. So we will be racing there. And then we will be in the playoffs at Talladega in the trucks to start off. But we are ready to go green one, or uh, I guess again, at Texas. Now, this is a second restart. These guys are doing pretty solid so far. Only two cautions. Got some shuffling around on the inside lane. Kyle looking in third, trying to possibly move Steven out of the way, a.k.a. Su Superman, to get that second position. A lot of shifting back and forth here and a solid racing i feel like this might be some of the racing we might see tomorrow in real life if you guys didn't know they are at michigan in real life and that race got rained out today that they will be racing at five o'clock tomorrow kyle tags the out, outside wall going to the start finish line that's not going to help him whatsoever and they will be racing at five o'clock tomorrow eastern standard time so don't make sure to uh, tape that race if you guys are stuck at work or whatever. And that should be a uh, solid one. We'll have to see how this aero package for Michigan does. Still being the fastest track on the mark or on the market. On the series, well, on the schedule, if you will. And we are winding down stage number one with um, just a few more laps to go. Ten laps to go to end Stage number one, um, tight racing in the back, but 
we have solid racing up front as well. Race is looking like he's got a solid truck. And again, he's kind of, I wouldn't say he's walking away with it, but that bump drafting happening with uh, the 18 and the 21. And the 21 is going to get a little squirrely. Jesus is going to go in the grass as well. And they both save it. You can see Jeremy was really loose coming out of the trial pool right there. But again, some of the drafting's help, helping uh, with Jeremy getting the draft from the 18 and Jish getting the draft from the 68. They're coming. It looks like Jish has got a pretty strong truck and Jeremy's got the catbird seat. As of right now, if anything happens, he can take the inside lane or outside lane, try to see if he can get a run. It looks like he's got a pretty solid truck, but... Can this be possibly almost a three-way battle? And it looks like Race is not going to have enough momentum to hold off Jeesh. And Jeesh is going to take the inside lane with Race being on the outside. And if Race gets enough momentum down the back stretch to cut off the momentum from Jeesh. And Jeesh just looking, just pushing him through the trial. And Jeremy almost making a move to the inside. Goes to the outside. Danny is in the wall. I don't know if that's a caution or not. But we are still green. We are still green, but we still have a solid battle, and that three-way battle has became into a four-way battle, and Jeremy is not going to have enough time and runs out of room, and just looks like Jesse is on a mission coming from fourth, or actually the back of the pack, coming all the way to the front, and he's going to take third away from Jeremy, and Jeremy is, looks like he's riding, looks like he's riding for fourth place right now, did his, how, how much has his truck fallen off compared to everybody else? So, no more yellows with five to go in stage number one. Whatever happens, happens with a four-way battle, almost becoming a five-way battle for the lead, uh, if you will. Looks like Race is still being able to hold off the momentum from Jish. It looks like Jish has, has enough of a truck to contend with him, but it looks like he just needs a little bit extra ounce of oomph to get to the front. And again, right now, I mean, the bump draft is, the draft on most of these tracks is very crucial. Speed is everything, especially if you're going to be stuck in the draft, especially at a track like this. We are all over the track. We got someone going way to the outside. Kyle hit and goes to the inside, files back in, and we are still good. That was one hell of a save. Jeremy kind of just falling off the pace right now from the rest of these trucks. But we're going to go on board with Kyle racing with Jeremy. Major damage to both of these guys' trucks being involved. It looks like a little tap there to Jeremy to move Jeremy out of the way. And you can see these trucks are pushing a little bit. We'll uh, go on board. And you, you can see these guys are pushing a little bit. So they're going to have to back off the corners and just really angle these trucks in as hard as they can due to not being able to use track bar. In, uh, in this game and only wedge wedge tape tire pressures is uh, your three options right there Kyle using all the room that he can arc that corner just perfectly and he's gonna stick behind Jesse and it's it's a four-way single single line single file right now but with coming to the white flag this time by it looks like a race will be our First stage winner, Jish will be second, Jesse in third, and Kyle in fourth. So good rebound comeback for Kyle um, being involved in that wreck and coming back and getting a solid uh, finish for stage number one. And he's going to smack the wall, and that's not going to help anybody at that point. Actually, yeah, we are. Uh, that is the end of stage number one. So race gets the crown for now but who wins stage number two and how will be how big will stage number two be i will tell you guys here shortly made an error on that kyle got uh placed fifth 
in that. And, and actually, I, I totally missed, messed that up and all. That, that's my bad. Jesse gets the crown. And Jeremy gets second. Race gets third. NASCAR Superman gets fourth. And Kyle gets fifth. And Jish will get sixth. And Deponsky will get seventh. Now, I apologize for that. I thought that was the last lap, but I was a little in a desync. So... Congratulations to Jesse for winning stage number one. I thought we were good. I thought we were done with that uh, lap right there, but uh, we had one more to go. That's my bad. So we are going to get ready for stage number two. Jesse's going to give us the green here in a bit, and who will win stage number two? And I and here in about ten seconds or less, I'm going to tell you guys how big this stage will be. So. I don't know if it's going to be 35 again or if it will be shorter since we have 167. It might be. Unless um, the final stage is pretty, pretty long. We'll have to find out. Well, I will watch I find out here. But we are green. It looks like there's a little bit of a lag issue in the server right now. And we are all over the place. This is, uh, this is looking a little sketchy right now. And so we have 32 laps in stage number one going three wide to start that uh that restart that was really sketchy but they made it work somehow some way and we are still green oh and the four truck takes out the 21 and that's for sure going to be a caution that wow that was one hard lick for the four and the 21 and that will bring out a, another yellow to start off stage number two so we are ready to go green and a race will give us the green flag restart command as we go green once again to texas So Danny finally getting to the front, and can we see if he can uh, can is he any match for race? Race looks like he's had a pretty solid, strong truck so far in this race. What does Danny have to compete with him? Danny looking for his first win of the season. Can he make it happen at Texas, or at least get a stage win? I know we got a lot of laps left. Looks like the 68 truck. Uh, Went up high a little bit, but is Danny going to have enough room to pass him? And Danny finally gets the inside from race. We're side by side. Jeesh looking for it. Almost wrecks the almost wrecks the Ford truck, and Jeesh got a piece of the grass, and he's going to go to the back, unfortunately. And again, just bad, another string of bad luck for Jeesh. Now, with Kyle in the mix, and Steven also in the mix as well, NASCAR Superman, he seems like he's had a solid truck as well. We're going to go on board with Kyle. He's going to give him a push going into the corner, holds on to it, and Race gets a bump from Kyle, and he's going to, and that's going to bring out more than likely a caution. We got, oh yeah, the four, or excuse me, the 68 truck, so unfortunate for Race, staying clean most of this race. And he gets that little shove, smacks the wall, and collects whoever was in the back of the field there. So that's going to be another caution. And looks like we are getting ready to go green one more time in stage number two. We're uh, just about halfway through this segment. And, you know, at, at this point, anything can happen. Still plenty of time left. Is, has anyone been sandbagging or have they been going full out? In this race that they might be a huge contender who who's been sandbagging in the back just to let everyone race it out and just let it happen but as at this point I think everyone's showing their true colors on what their truck can contend with and it looks like race is gonna try and get back to the front just like Kyle right in front of them and to work through this traffic it's gonna to be tough the draft again is gonna hurt a lot of people the one car getting smacked or up in the wall smacks the wall and that slows down race just a little bit and geez right behind race Kyle 
in front of him in third. And it looks like a little bit of a nudge from Jeremy to Danny. And Danny smacks the inside wall. And we're going to have a huge wreck that's going to take out most of the field. Race is going to be involved. We got Kyle flipping. Oh, my goodness. He flipped. But we're going to have Jeremy in P number one. Looks like Danny, again, smacks the wall pretty hard. Another string of bad luck for him. Can Kyle hold off Danny? Kyle gets moved out of the way by Race. Can Race capitalize on his mistakes and finally get a stage win? He's getting bump draft pushed by Jeesh. And Danny's going to have to try and hold that inside line as good as he can if he's wanting to one, win this stage because Race is coming with some heat. He's coming with a heater and even the kitchen sink on top of that final lap at um excuse me that was the final lap right there so race uh out of time there but bumps him a little bit gives him a shove he's like hey i'm coming in this final stage official um results for stage number two was danny in first race in second jish in third kyle in fourth and jesse with a top five finish so wins first stage gets fifth in the second Danny finishing in the back in stage number one and wins stage number two. So it's honestly like a Ted Nugent song right now. It is a free-for-all here at Texas. So these guys are going to uh, come down pit road, get some fresh tires and gas. And we're going to get ready to go. Um, I don't know why it's only showing four uh, trucks. Okay, there we go. They just popped out of nowhere. And there is Danny to uh, give us a restart. That was very, very, very laggy. And um, we are green on the, uh, um, just that, that was uh, very weird, but we are green nonetheless to start stage number three, the final stage at 73 rat laps out of 147. So 73 laps to go in this final stage at Texas. Long, long, long way to go. We stay green. These laps will go by quicker than you guys think. Ooh, Kyle gets loose. We're almost three wide going into turn one. Everyone saves it. Everyone's still good. And we are still green. We're still racing. Go on to the back stretch. So Danny still in the lead, holding off the one truck for the time being. But the one truck did have somewhat of a lead. Race, aka Matt, he's got the catbird seat right now in third place. We're just searching, waiting for someone to make a mistake. And he's going to give the one truck a little bump. And that's going to give Danny a bump. So these guys are shifting and shaking around in the top three and here comes Jeremy in the top four pushing the 68 truck and that's going to get him possibly tight and push the one to the outside but the one still has enough speed to capitalize and still keep the second position so race still in third Jeremy in fourth Kyle in fifth Kyle has not been able to get to the front too much today so far but we still have a lot of racing left a lot of squirming around and Race is going to get to the inside, and he's going to smack Kyle, and that's going to wreck some of the field, and that's going to be a caution. I apologize about that, guys. Uh, my stream, for some reason, just crashed. So 
Um, I sincerely apologize about that, but with um, just, I believe, 16, or actually um, 26 laps to go, 122 out of 147, peaking at almost 120. Um, again, I am sorry for uh, the my stream just crashed for no reason. Don't understand why. Um, gave me some kind of error glitch, but we are still racing. Um, I apologize for that. Also, um, had a, an important conversation, so I had to mute my mic as well. So, um, anyways, winding down with these laps. And Kyle in the fourth position. Danny in third. And Jesse and Jeesh battling out one and two. Big gap between one, two, and three, and four. And that is the end. So Kyle um, somehow comes up with the win. Jesse comes in second. Jeesh in third. And I believe um, Jesse and Race got into it. So I think Race unfortunately gets screwed right there at the end. And Kyle gets the win. Unbelievable finish at uh, Texas. I was looking out at my other phone. So hopefully I got the end of that. So Kyle... I rule out Kyle thinking he's not going to get the back-to-back -back win. He does. And congratulations to Kyle on winning at Kansas. Or Kansas, excuse me. Texas will be at Kansas next week. In